All right, folks. I'm gonna take a shot of making a video for you how to mount your new tires on your solid aluminum rims if you ordered these for your bike. They're gonna be a little bit harder than the split rims. Here's the front one, I already did, done did. Now you wanna make sure you got your flange facing the right way, how your hub's gonna bolt up to it. Okay, so on the back, the hub's bolting onto the back side over here on my left side. Now you wanna check your tire rotation and look for the arrow, which is right there, going that way, so your tire is rolling that way. So, now, okay, so it's gonna go just like so, just like so. So, first thing we need to do is lube her up nice and good with some Dawn, some nice, greasy, slimy Dawn dishwashing liquid. Yeah. If you're doing it on your wife's living room floor like I am, make sure you put a, one of these doggy potty pads down here. So the first side should slip on for you. Let's double check that again. Okay, we're putting it on that way. All right, so when it's on, that's going that way. There's our arrow going that way. So that's good. So the first side, you should be able to slide it on without any tools. Get a knee pad. I can only find one, of course. Wiggle it back and forth. Try not to break your wrist when it pops. All right, so we got that side. Now, don't worry about trying to get your bead up over here because there's no way it's gonna get over that edge right here on your bead. No way, you'll seat that once you get it all together. So now we're gonna loop up this side. Around here, around here, around here. Okay, get it all nice and slimy. Stick your finger on this one and get it inside your rim real good because this is the tightest part of doing this. Have a rag to get that off of your hands. Put some gloves on, make it a lot easier for this part. I got some cheapy, man, I've had these for probably 30 years. Keep your little tire irons, okay, with the little angled tip. So now we're gonna work on getting it started on one end with your knee. That's where you need the knee pad, all right? I'm gonna use this for my other knee here in a minute. Now, I don't know if you can see me very good, but we got the tire over the lip of the rim right here. We're gonna work it down some more right here. If you weigh 250 like me, then it ain't too hard. Okay, so now I need my other knee to keep it from sliding out. I'm gonna jump on it right here and come around. Now when you stick these in, don't try to stick them in right where you wanna lift up your tire come in farther away so you don't hit your rim right there so, so come in and then bring it around and then lift it up now you want to move your knee to where your tire iron is we're gonna hold that sucker right there okay you can use your knee to hold the tire iron right now I don't need to we still got half a tire bead to go so it's not fighting me yet. So we're gonna come over to the other side. 
and lift it over. Okay, I'm gonna move my knee over some. So now we got about half the tire over. Ugh, your knees are shot like mine. It's gonna hurt like hell, even with a knee pad. Okay, so now we're gonna give it another lift right here. Now I'm gonna slide around with my knee to hold that tire on, just like so. Okay, that's my third hand. Now I'm gonna come in with a second one and lift that sucker over. Now, this one you need to hold it, otherwise your tire is gonna slip right out. <clears throat> so I got three of them, makes it a lot easier. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna come in and grab another bite right there. Now you can get this one out. Now, hold your tire iron right here with your hand. Uh, so I'm about three quarters through right there. Okay. You can try to press down some on that tire. Okay. Now, we're going to take another bite on the right side. Just like so. <coughs> that was kind of a bitch. Uh, and my left side's trying to slide on me. So we got her right there. Now I pull out that one. And we move down and hold that one. It's not really holding in there, but... Okay, now we got our last one right there. Bring her over. Pull out that one. Hold that one. I'm gonna use the flat tips because it's right up against the rim. I'm gonna try not to scratch it. I might put a little scratch on it, but. Ugh. There you go. <sighs> Gets a little harder when you're close to 60. But back in our day, all we had was screwdrivers. Who remembers doing that with a screwdriver with a tube? So now, if you look at your bead, it's not seated on the rim. So now what you can do, <clears throat> I'm take my glove off. <sighs> yeah, I'm breathing hard because my lungs are shot also. Let me wipe off some of that soap around the edge. We can give it a little, a little more now inside here. Get, make sure your bead has plenty. Flip it around. There's one little spot right here that needs to pop. Sometimes you can get it to seat. Just by doing that, a little bounce. So, this one's like still, it's almost seated right here. But now, we'll just do it the rest of the way with this, the slimy. I can't even get the valve cap off. There we go. So, this is a Kenda 130, <sighs> 130, it's a big block, what the hell is it, 13090, right, yeah, no, 13070 by 12, 13070, 12, that's my rear, and then I got a 120, 70 12 for the front a little more narrow on the front all right so now we're gonna get a bicycle pump and seat the bead just like in the tire shop when you hear that pop and everybody jumps watch these little puppies probably gonna scare them back behind 
Come here, Moppy. Come here, Moppy. Moppy. <laughs> so, it's almost there. A little more of these tubeless tires, obviously. Let me see if we put a tube in. You probably could run a tube if you want. Okay, come on, Pop. This pop is hard. Okay. Should be about there. There we go. There we go, Spiky. This side still needs to go. A little more on the bottom. You'll hear that one. In a minute. Come on. Jesus. There we go. And there you have it. Kenda Big Block. Big Block Ground Pounding Nitro Burning Tires. There we go. UPS guy should be here today with my new front end. Got my swing arm already. Got all this. Most of it from Bart Moto. Nikki Bart. Send me one of them discount codes. So next time I check out, I have one of those discount codes to enter. So I got my wheels from there. Tires from Chaparral. Chaparral Motorsports, I believe. On eBay. My swing arm from Bart. The front end's coming from Bart today. Got my Billet kickstand. I like billet, so everything's gonna be billet. Uh, and then 212 cc ground pounding nitro burning motor. So if, if you're weak and you can't do the job, get your puppy help. Push right there, Muffin. Push right there. Push right there. See? See there? Push right there. That's the star of the show. My little, little thing. Only a dog like this can turn a biker into a baby talking biker. Oh, yeah, I know, huh? I know, because you're so cute. You're a little teeny tiny thing. But I don't give a shit. Because we'll still kick anybody's ass. So say bye bye, everybody. Ugh.